welcome to your 2020 IB topic for the year. It is beautiful KwaZulu Natal with a primary activity focusing on sugarcane farming. I'm in Pongola where we have one of the 14 sugar mills that uh, produce sugar for South Africa's market and for the export market. With an area of approximately 92,000 square kilometers, KwaZulu Natal definitely is one of our beautiful subtropical climates in South Africa. South Africa as a sugar producer rates in one of the top 15 countries in the world out of 120. As a primary activity here in KwaZulu Natal, sugar cane planting from stent to fully grown mature plants can take 12 to 16 months. Using a variety of different irrigation techniques, uh, namely here on this farm in Pongola, using drip irrigation in the top upper part where there's steeper inclines and normal sprinkler irrigation at the bottom parts of the farm. Sugarcane definitely is a commodity that is of high priority in the South African market and it's mainly farmed within the Eastern Cape, Mpumalanga and here in KwaZulu Natal. Now let's take a look at the most prominent primary activity in KwaZulu Natal, namely sugarcane farming. Let's take a look at some of the interesting facts and statistics with regards to this primary activity. KwaZulu Natal does not just play host to primary economic activities such as sugarcane farming, it also plays host to secondary and tertiary economic activities. Secondary economic activities like the manufacturing of chrome chemicals in Newcastle. KwaZulu Natal also hosts the busiest harbour in Africa, namely Durban Harbour. You can see behind me part of the 21,000 kilometers of rail that make up South Africa's railway network. Of the 180 million tons transported per annum on this rail, 20 million tons is transported in KwaZulu Natal. The rail network, as well as KwaZulu Natal's harbors, play a vital role in the secondary economic sectors of manufacturing. Let's take a look at the transport networks in KwaZulu Natal as well as the manufacturing network. This beautiful province of KwaZulu Natal borders Swaziland, which we can see there in the distance. It hosts a population of almost 11 million people and has a 78% Zulu speaking population and just 13% English. We can clearly see where it gets its name from. The tourism industry has played a major role in the development of KwaZulu Natal. Welcome to one of the many nature reserves we found within KwaZulu Natal. We are currently in the Pongola Game Reserve, which was proclaimed by Paul Creer to be a conservation area back in 1894. Natal is rich in tourism capacity, and we can see this through all the tourism activities that are hosted within Natal. Let's take a look at a few of them.
I hope this video serves you well in helping you navigate the IEB 2020 topic of Kazoo Natal and the primary activity of sugarcane farming.